The first six emperors of the Mughal Empire are rated to be remarkable talented displaying multifarious personal tendencies. The Mughal dynasty was generally known to be open-minded and willing to accommodate almost every point of view, and at times appeared to encourage unconventional ideas and discourses. They were keenly aware of the limitations on their rule as they were minority rulers and their dominance and sustainability required more than decisive and exclusive dependence on military power and resultantly always explored avenues of cumulative consensus and tried to rule through even hand. The widening remit of Mughal rule corresponded with equally active efforts to look for widespread participation in governance. Though these efforts were not always successful, the Mughal kept on trying to bring in all segments of population together and they somewhat succeeded in doing that. Keeping in view the divinity associated with kingship, the Mughal emperors were no exception and rules with plenty of arbitrariness in their actions. Nuruddin Muhammad Salim known as Emperor Jangir was the fourth in line of the great Mughals and was the most mercurial of lot. He ran on the legacy of the grandeur and authority bequeathed by his illustrious father Akbar to the Mughal Empire. He was the first Mughal ruler who was born in the security of a safe throne and was accordingly trained in the affairs of a state. He was a pampered child as the circumstances of his birth had become legendary during his lifetime. Though his father was rather tough with Jahangir and his siblings, the fact was that he adored Jahangir as his firstborn. Though trained rigorously, Jahangir proved not as active as his father and preferred a languid lifestyle and was hedonistic in outlook. He was in a way of his father and never looked too much interest in the affairs of a state in his early age, however became conscious of his status in the empire when his son Hosro became the favorite of his father and was reported to be considered for succession instead of Jahangir. He rebelled but was quickly made to surrender, ultimately succeeding his father. What was important was that he did not cross the line that would have compelled his father to use all resources of the empire to crush him. Jangir had a childlike tendency to inquire and was inquisitive about every matter but was more inclined toward understanding mysterious of nature. He is widely acknowledged to be the first scientist emperor in very rudimentary terms, but his interests undoubtedly were honed by experimenting before forming an opinion. He was keener to develop into a naturalist and most of his inquisitiveness was directed towards natural phenomena. He conducted many experiments that have been recorded in Mughal chronicles and his autobiography. Observing by the record, Jangir comes out to be a person who could not be easily convinced to do anything because he demanded proof for everything instead of believing. He loved his pet animals very much and would get upset and mourn for days if he lost them and also build them tombs such as Hiran Minar and Shekhapura. His pet lions and tigers he fed with his own hands sometimes, but he also was a prolific hunter. He was a naturalist who observed nature and animals and gave details of flora and fauna around him with great interest. His observations pertain to numerous things and are quite entertaining in their detail. Jahangir correctly observed that an elephant's gestation period was 18 months and it was confirmed later in 20th century. Once a deer was thrown into his tiger's cage for a meal and they became friends. The deer would sleep keeping its head on the tiger's chest and the tiger licked it like a parent and showed attention. The emperor was informed about it and was awestruck and decided to conduct an experiment on animal psychology. He removed that deer from the cage and brought a similar deer and put it in its place. The tiger immediately killed and ate it. Then a sheep was put inside and it met the same fate. When the original deer was put back, the tiger treated it with the usual love and affection 
licking its face and allowing it to sleep by placing its head on his chest, making the emperor observe that love is a natural faculty that may be provoked in highly unlikely situation. Jahangir did crossbreeding of animals and once crossbreed Markor goats with Barbary goats and lion with a tiger, he proudly showed the offshoot of his experiments. He was very fond of dissecting animals to discover what was inside them and often dissected reptiles, crocodiles, birds, lions and tigers as well. If you really like the video then like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.